Hey guys, welcome to the flip side. Another episode, another phone, and today I actually have a flip phone for you, which is the F505i. This is a Fujitsu phone which was launched on NTT Docomo in 2003, and it features the world's first fingerprint scanner. The Fujitsu 505i launched in 2003 on NTT Docomo, and um, yeah, what's really special about this device, as I just said, is the fingerprint scanner in here. Um, so that is the first time um, a fingerprint scanner got implemented on a commercially available mobile phone. Now Siemens Infineon did put a fingerprint, fingerprint scanner on a GSM device in 99 and um, the prototype was seen at the CBIT 99 at the time, but it was never never really commercialized. So um, I guess the F505i would hold that title as a first um, mobile phone in the world to um, feature this technology. Um, a little bit about the 505i, it is um, part of the NTT MOVA series. It's a 2.5G PDC device, runs on 1500 megahertz. It is not compatible with GSM, it has no SIM card in it. Um, the external screen that you can see is a 256 color um, screen and we have a 1.2 megapixel camera with a flash on board and um, for expanded storage we have a mini SD um, which I think I've got one in there yes and so um, that's very handy now um, looking at the phone itself we have a 2.2 inch quarter VGA screen with 262,000 colors um, and we have both bilingual support for English and Japanese. Now let's go into um, the uh, fingerprint scanning service so we can go in here and now we will set up a new fingerprint and see how we go. Um, keep in mind this is a first generation um, fingerprint device so uh, it's probably not coming, going to come anywhere close to an iPhone, but you know, let's just see how we go. All right, so we'll place our finger as it says. One, two, right, more accurately. We're doing all right here, guys. Oh, spoke too soon. Almost done. Fingerprint reading is completed. Right, spell check, um, but I won't judge because uh, my Japanese is pretty terrible. So um, I'm gonna be super creative here and call it test. Oh, the T9 input, we love it. Right, so now um, we have enabled the fingerprint on this device and we can go back and try to um, activate it somewhere for lock, um, keypad lock, SD card lock, iMode lock, which one are we gonna choose? No, we will go out and I know I need to have a code in here. So let's see. There we go, that worked. All right, so there you have it. The first available fingerprint scanner on a mobile device and it's working okay. Um, I guess it would be a bit annoying in real life because trying to place that finger, you'd have to learn how to do it really well and consistently. But you know what, for a first generation fingerprint um, solution, that's not too shabby. So um, yeah, that's really it. I mean, it's a great little device. Uh, I guess for what was out there in 2003, this is very advanced. If you have any questions, please let me know, comment, send me a private message. I'm always happy to do a follow-up as always. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, share with people that are interested in this lovely technology, and I shall see you next time. Thank you so much, bye-bye.